Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd. And if you look at my old team maker, it is custom. How did I do this? How can you do this? I'll tell you in just a second. So let's do this. Are you ready? Go. This is going to be so, so cool. Travis over to Pyro Design sent me this box. And inside this box is supposedly a faceplate for my old team maker to Plus, custom, custom. This guy's awesome, man, sending me stuff like this, All right? He uses good tape, too. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's even, it's even shrink wrapped or something. Ooh. Not too heavy. Here, let's get this box out of the way. There we go. Little flabbity wobbity. This is a custom faceplate for an Ultimaker 2 Plus. In fact, my Ultimaker 2 Plus. I'm told it's really easy to install. Let's install it. The four screws on the front need to come out. I'm using a two millimeter hex wrench. And to install it, you just put the screws back in. And just like that, we are done. Look, look at this, look. This is so incredible. Um, okay, you know, blinging out your printers, obviously it's nothing required. It's not like it's going to print faster or more better because this is on here, but this is cool. This is a way to make your printer unique and you can, you can call it your own. People put stickers on their printers. People 3D print parts for their printers out of certain colors because they like it. Travis over to Pyro Design, he makes custom face plates for the Ultimakers and well, the two and the two plus at least. I'm told the three is still a ways out. So that guy, that guy right there, he'll get a custom face plate soon. What's incredible is the detail on this faceplate. Travis uses a special technique to make this and he detailed the entire process for making this specific 3D printing nerd faceplate and uh, there will be a link down in the description where you can go watch it. Travis, thank you so, so very much. Okay, let's see. You may want one of your own. You may have an Ultimaker 2 or an Ultimaker 2 Plus and you may want your own custom faceplate or some neat graphic that you, you, you want to display on the front. I've got you covered because I've put the link to a Pyro Designs Etsy shop down in the description. And two cool things out of this. One, they have a coupon code. Two more things out of this. One, they have a coupon code. If you go to their Etsy shop and want to buy a custom faceplate or whatever else they have there, if you put in the code high five, it gives you $5 off your order. I don't make a red cent from that code either. That's just me sending some savings on to you. And I'm also told that he will sell the 3D printing nerd faceplates as well. And if you happen to buy one of those, don't forget to use the code that gives you $5 off. But every faceplate, or excuse me, every 3D printing nerd faceplate sold will generate $10 for Seattle Children's Hospital. That's awesome. This was a quick little video and I know this wasn't printing models or showing off Simplify 3D, but Travis is, he's a friend of mine and he's a great positive influence in the 3D printing community. I think this is a neat idea. He's offering something neat, so I just wanted to get the word out. Give it a thumbs up if you like customizing your printer. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I'm sure Travis will answer any questions you may have. Don't forget to go view the making of video that I've linked in the description to this video. Don't forget to hug each other more often because I love you guys, as always. High five.